from what I read, it sounded like you you didn't initially go to film school to learn how to act. You went to learn how to like be a DP, be a DP, a cameraman. I was fascinated or interested in photography and the outdoors. So I think I was working up in British Columbia at this place. I was a ski boat driver and I signed a contract to be a glacier guide, you know, and they were about really? to go into training. Yeah, but they had to train me for that and then the following year you'd be a glacier guide. And there was this black rock that was like, you know, 150 feet high or something. I didn't know that, it just looked like a little black rock. And they said, whatever you do on your day off, don't go to the black rock. <laughs> so the first day of my day off, I went out to the black rock, climbed up to the top of it, jumped off and shattered a couple vertebrae and uh, slipped some discs. So I got flown to the hospital, long story. And uh, anyways, I got let go from the job. And that was the first time I had to realize, well, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna be a, like a, a glacier guide or an outdoors, w w something living in the woods. And, and then I thought, okay, I'll go to film school in Los Angeles and I'll learn how to be a cinematographer. And then I can go be a wildlife cinematographer. And it wasn't really till I got down here to LA. To LA, I was going to film school. I was doing a year of it and I wasn't learning anything. And I remember my teacher saying, if you, the only way to learn how to, the best way to learn film is to be on set. And so I thought, well, how do you get on set? And then I knew you could do background work. So oh, I, like extras? Yeah, yeah extra. so I registered with Central Casting and uh, started doing background work, but I was working on the practice as a background. And you know, they shove all the background actors out to holding. Right. But I'd try and stick around, and this one camera guy noticed that I was sticking around, and he kind of came over to me and said, uh, you could stick around, but just stay out of the way. And I was like, okay, and I just sat there and watched, and I swear I learned more in that two weeks that I was a background actor on the practice than I did in the year I went to film school. And then I was, um, I got a job at this carpentry place as a carpenter uh, building these sets for this event planning company. And next door was a guy who owned a floor apartment for the event planning company. And we would smoke cigarettes on our breaks. And he had a friend named John Pierce, who is still my manager today. I've been working with him for 20 years. And he said, he's got a little boutique commercial agency and do you want to bar bartend at his Christmas party? I said, sure. And I bartended at his Christmas party and his clients were saying, you should do commercials. And I said, sure, you know, I'm, whatever. And uh, I went to, came to, back to him after the holidays, came in there and he was like, no, 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 you're not, you're not an actor. You're not, you're not gonna do commercials. But the guy from the really? floral, floral department called him and said, come on, take him, you know, send him out on some commercials. Anyways, I booked a commercial in my first month for Marshalls. Uh, and all I had to do was walk out of a house, it's for Mother's Day, kiss this lady on the cheek, give her a hug, walk off. And I made more money on that commercial than I made my entire year as a carpenter. And I got another job two months later, and then that was it. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour-long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.